Hi everyone, DJ Rachel here, back with another Summer Shorts tip here on DJN TV. So music, let's talk about it. We love it, we breathe it, we mix it, we hoard it. I'm probably one of the guiltiest. Let's face it, one of the worst things that can happen to a DJ is to spend all this money on music, someone comes up with a song request, and we don't have the track. I think DJs put a lot of pressure on themselves to carry everything, and frankly, this just leads to duplicate, clutter databases that are really hard to navigate through. Like many of you, I belong to numerous record pools, and again, I am just as guilty of putting a hundred songs in a download crate of music that I've never even heard of or probably have no intention of even using, but because we paid for it, we feel that we want to get our money's worth and we want to obtain every song that ever existed on that particular record pool. And really, that can make uh, downloading and organizing this stuff a daunting task and very overwhelming. So today, I wanted to touch upon some examples on how to organize your music with physical directories on your hard drive and also discuss the benefits of using virtual folders in Virtual DJ 8 and how it can make you a much more efficient mixer at your particular events. So tip number one. A lean, mean music collection is going to keep you focused on quality and really enhance your sets. So my first tip is to really purge out any music that you're not using. And typically my standard is if you haven't played it in over a year or never played it at all, you don't need it in your searchable library. And again, if you have trouble letting go of this music, then keep it. But put it on a separate hard drive so you have it as part of your music collection, but it's not part of your working database, which can really free up some space. Again, make it a lot easier to navigate through. In fact, I think last month I deleted eight different remixes of Despacito, um, it just, it can get kind of crazy and it just, it's not needed. So really step number one is purge that database. It's okay to let some things go. So for all the tracks that you do want to keep, um, I want to talk about how we can organize that. I'm going to walk you through some of my hard drive um, organization, but I just want to mention that this is a very personal thing, and anything that I'm saying today is not what you have to do. Every DJ is unique. The type of events that you do, the type of business that you're running is unique. So you need to kind of figure out a system that works for you, but these are just some suggestions that have worked for me. So let's take a look at my hard drive. So the first thing that I wanted to discuss is how to set up a favorite folder, which are these yellow folders right down here. And without these, navigating through your master hard drive can actually be kind of complicated with a lot of unnecessary clicks. So let's start there. So let's just pretend these folders were not here and I just was starting with a clean blank slate. In order for me to get to my hard drive, I would have to click on local music, then click on hard drive, then click on my actual hard drive, then click on my music folder, and then now kind of navigate through all these folders with all these subfolders. And as you can see, this could be, you know, 50 clicks. So in order to simplify the process, whatever folder that you use regularly, I highly recommend simply clicking on it and either clicking this star or right clicking it and click set as favorite. So now when I close all of this clutter, you're going to notice that it put that folder right here as a favorite folder as indicated by this yellow folder with a star. So that's how you set up your folder um, favorites. So now I want to talk about actual organization on your hard drive and creating these type of directories. Now again, this is a very personal thing. This is just some of my process behind this. So you'll notice that I have um, major folders here. And within these major folders, I have some very broad categories. Now, my first tip here is for the DJs just starting out is don't go crazy with organizing music by year. Outside of your 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and even early 2000s, outside of that, it's really just unnecessary work that's going to drive you crazy. Let's be real here. No one is going to ask you for a country song from 2004. Now, if you do play a lot of country music, then by all means, maybe make a country top 40 folder so you have access to all the new and current hits, and maybe make a country classics folder where you have some staples that you know that work at every event, but you don't have to organize it 2000s countries, 2003 country, 2004 country. You're just going to drive yourself crazy and it's not necessary. But now, if I go to a 90s party, 
I know I got some good solid tracks that are going to work for that night, even all the way down to the 50s. I also like to organize my music by very broad genres. So if I do a 4th of July party, I got all the classic Americana songs. I got doo-wop. We got EDM. I got stuff for kids' parties, pop party. Um, even if it's a, a summer, summer party with a feel like that, I have um, a theme folder where I have you know stuff for Halloween. I got Latin music. I got even that broken down to bachata, merengue. But again, it's not broken down by year. It's broken down by very broad categories. Car shows, blues music. Music, Christmas stuff. So again, you need to pick what works for you, but I don't want you to drive yourselves crazy with all of these subcategories. So now that you have some idea on how to set up your hard drive directories, I want to do a quick chat about virtual folders. So a virtual folder is a folder that is created within Virtual DJ that does not actually physically live on your hard drive. So this means whatever you do with that virtual folder, it is not going to change, remove, or add anything to your physical hard drive. So there should be no fear in creating these folders because your master database is going to be safe and untampered with. So to create a master folder, I'm sorry, a virtual folder, we're simply going to come over here and click on the virtual folder tab. Now, how can these be useful? Well, let's just say we have a wedding coming up this weekend for um, John and Jane. Okay, and I'll put, you know, a date in here. So this is the date of event and this is whose wedding it is. So now I have their names right there. So if I'm doing any type of announcements or anything involving using their names, I have it right here in front of my face, which I find also pretty helpful. So now that you've gone through all of their music and they've told you everything they wanted, rather than navigating and clicking and searching here for, you know, Stevie Wonder and this and that, you can make virtual folders that keep everything in one location specific to that event. So let's go back to John and Jane's event. So I'm going to click on their folder here, and I'm going to create another virtual folder, which is going to create a subfolder to that. And you'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. So let's just say they gave you a list of must plays. So I click OK. Now their must plays are there. I come back up to the John and Jane folder, click my virtual folder again. Now they gave you uh, slow songs. That's it they want you to play at the event. I come back up to John and Jane. I click on another virtual folder. Now they're going to go over some of the dinner music that they want. Let's just say that they hate Frank Sinatra. So your master um, f dinner music folder that you may have on your personal hard drive under your dinner music will include uh, Frank Sinatra. So you can't just randomly click through here because it might include some stuff that they want. So you can make them their own custom dinner music playlist without altering what's on your physical hard drive. Then let's just say we want to have all of their um, introduction music in one place. So we could put intros. So now all the songs that we have to go through, they'll all be right there. Okay. So this is how I like to organize my events because, again, it gives me everything I need in one location without having to do 100 clicks and a million searches throughout the event. Now to add music to these folders, it is as simple as this. So let's just say I'm going to start working on the dinner music folder for John and Jane. So I'm going to go to my master directory on my hard drive in my wedding folder. I will click on um, upbeat dinner music here. And again, I don't want any type of Frank Sinatra or anything like that because John and Jane don't like it. So I can simply click them individually. Or you can hit the shift key and select the songs that you want and just simply drag them in. So now, if I go to their dinner music folder, you're going to see this is everything that I just moved into. So this is how virtual folders work. This is how they're very useful. And again, this will not change what is physically on your hard drive. And then once you're done with the event, all you simply have to do is right click and then delete virtual folder and they're gone. Now by me deleting that again, that is not deleting the actual MP3s or files off of your master hard drive. It's just removing that virtual folder. So again, step one, purge your database, only get the essentials of what you need. Number two, organize your hard drive, what works for you and the type of DJ that you are. 
Number three, don't drive yourself crazy with organizing things by year because it's not necessary. Just make some really good healthy music folders of great tunes that you know that are going to work and utilize those virtual folders to help you get to the music quicker and really stay organized at your event. So if you like this video, please be sure to like and share it. We'd love to know in the comments how you organize your music and also if you have any other tips or tricks for other DJs on how to stay more organized with their tunes. Thank you for watching DJN TV. This is DJ Rachel. We'll see you next time.